everybody, it's Old Possum and Jimbo, Team Country Boys Outdoors. I'm going to hit you with a quick recipe today on infinity rice, forever rice, but in a bulk amount. So what you're going to need is a 72 ounce box of rice, 2 cups of sugar, 2 cups of kosher salt, 48 ounces of ketchup, and then your flavoring. So Possum going to go ahead and throw in the dry ingredients. Seventy-two ounce box of rice. You're gonna need you a big bucket now, and then two cups of sugar, two cups of salt, kosher. You can use sea salt. And there's your dry ingredients. So what we're gonna do is blend up these dry ingredients real well. So. With your sugar, you can use granulated sugar, you can use confectioner sugar, you can use uh, snow cone, Kool-Aid, whatever, but the, this bigger amount, we're going to use sugar, just regular sugar. So, we're going to mix the dry ingredients up real well right now and get it into the rice. Okay, we got the dry ingredients mixed up, now my dad's going to pour the ketchup and the flavoring in. That's right, so we got it blended up good. We're going to go 48 ounces of ketchup. Good rubber spatula yarn to help you out, get it out of the bowl. Because what I did was I bought a 64 ounce bottle instead of buying two 24 ounce bottles, it was cheaper to buy the 64 ounce bottle. And that's again where them scales I told y'all about yarn on that rolled oats bulk bind, it paid off. I was able to measure out 48 ounces into this bowl here and put it in. So you're going to go 48 ounces of ketchup. And then you're going to go four to six ounces of whatever flavoring you prefer. Four to six ounces of that. I think I used about five ounces and a little bit more. And again, I used my scales on that. And now, we'll blend her up. Alright, so we're going to mix her up good. Get all the ketchup and the flavoring incorporated. Just like you do the other day. Now this is going to be a little bit different than what you normally do. But I'll tell you that in just a second. to coat every single grain of that white rice so there is nothing white you see it pull it off that bottom real good I believe she's blended up pretty good. Alright. What's going on everybody? Possum, it's been three days. And we're going to take the lid off. We're going to pack up and see how long it takes for it to break. That's right. We've been uh, three days since it's set. Only thing I did was for the first day I inverted the bucket about every 12 hours to let everything run down, flip it back over and let everything run back down so it goes all the way through the bait. So we'll pull it off. And you can see that's what she looks like. We're going to pack her up. Got the two trusty old Arrowhead Mills puffs. We're going to pack her up, see how long it takes for it to break. Now remember, you're going to stir this once a day for three days. Puffs in the middle. 
get it formed and we're going to go about 12 compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, I got a bowl sitting here with the water temperature about 58 degrees. I know that may not be as accurate, but I figure that's below the 64 degree uh, spawning temperature. So that's what I'm going to do at 58 degrees. We'll drop her in and see what, how long she takes. I expect it will take a couple of minutes. Awesome, we got the timer started. Got some good bubbles. This is a little more sticky. You'll feel a, uh, you'll definitely feel a texture difference in your hands versus that 28 ounce box with the, with the 48 ounces of ketchup. There's definitely a different texture to it, uh, but it, but it packs well. As you can see, just 12 compressions and it's pretty tight. We're a minute and 40 seconds in, 50 seconds in, and. Like I say, I, I expect it to take about two and a half minutes in. Still got the bubbles coming up. And I can see it beginning to compromise in the middle, almost like a fault line there. Two and a half minutes in, we should start seeing some puffs come up directly. I believe she's about to bail her here. See that line that compromised in it almost like a fault line. We had about three minutes. Winds are blowing. There we got pop up. And the second pop out of the bait middle. So it was about three minutes. Three minutes total. So I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, the water's still a little cold yet, but uh, at three minutes, I'm satisfied with that. All you want to do is uh, is get that bait to the bottom, and after that, however long it takes, as long as it breaks, you're good. In fact, this piece here that just popped up and this puff actually has a piece of the rice sticking to it, which is even better. So, uh, possum, I believe she's ready to fish. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for us. Uh, if you want to comment on it, please feel free to do so. We appreciate every, each and every one of you. And uh, hope you enjoyed this bulk rice recipe and uh, tight lines and wet nets to all of y'all and tell them possum the best things what? The best things come to those who bait. That's right. The best things come to those who bait. On behalf of Possum, Mr. Jimbo, Team Country Boys Outdoors, we'll see you next time.